Right, I've always said I was going to keep you up to date with what was happening running around the pond over winter because it's not it usually happens. Ponds are closed down, all the tops are off and the fish are usually sitting on the bottom. So not, not a lot usually happens in the koi ponds through winter. However, came downstairs, fish were at the window. So I thought, oh great, I'll get some of the aqua sauce, all season stuff and chuck that in. Um, chuck that into the, into the pond and, and see if they want something to eat, which they did. You know, uh, Goldie was up and believe it or not, uh, OJ was up and then I could just hear like glugging like this. Don't usually hear that around my pond. So where the hell is that coming from? So I had a look in the pond and th th there's air blowing from the middle drain. I haven't got a middle drain that blows air out of. It's just a sealed unit. So where the hell is that water coming? So first thing I did, looks at the water levels in the pond, water level's fine. Okay, what else could it be? Just checking all the pipe work in the filters. Is the pump still running? Yep, seems to be. I've still got levels, so what the hell, why have I got air blowing out of the middle drain? I'll show you. What is that all about? Interesting. Right, I've got about three quarters of an hour before it goes dark. Uh, I'm gonna get these covers off. I've got a little GoPro that I can put into the pond. It's like a big, it's one of those little GoPro things. You've seen it before probably. I'm gonna chuck it in the pond and that should show me, hopefully, what the hell's going on because I need to act fast because if it's something drastic, I need to be able to do something quick because, you know, it's gonna go dark soon. So let me, let me get these covers off and we'll have a closer look. Right, I'm gonna get my GoPro, sit the GoPro in, and have a look. Let's go and have a look. Right, interesting. <laughs> it looks like the fish, or somehow, one of my air discs has made its way across the bottom of the pond and plopped in to my bottom drain bit. So I've got that's that air from, from one of my air discs is blowing through there now. I'm hoping I can, I can get it out. I'm gonna turn the air off now so I can see what I'm doing and then try to get it out. I'm just pull on it and see what happens. Wow, I've never seen that before in my life. I, I know this happened once. <laughs> it's only within 20 minutes and they've knocked it over towards us and he started emptying the sky pond already. I'm gonna have to get it moved again. That was when the fish was pushing the air stones under my sky pond and, and blowing air into the sky pond and emptying the sky pond. A regular morning I've coming down and the sky pond was empty because they'd blown air in it. So I wonder if the fish are actually pu pushed in the air stone into the bottom drain because it won't get sucked in, it's the too heavy. You know what to do. If you've ever had this before yourselves, comment below because, I mean, to be honest, I am looking at a different air system for my pond for next year to combat things like this, like the, the fish moving it under the sky pond and the fish potentially, if it was them, if it was them putting it, the pond, putting the air stones into the bottom drain, into the bottom drain. Naughty fish. <laughs>
OJ's come up for a laugh. They're all going, yeah, hey, he's got to put his hands in a freezing cold pond. It's not funny. <laughs> it won't be long before I take my air stones out completely. I mean, it's, the pond's still 11 degrees. So, as soon as it goes below 10, then I'll be taking them out anyway. So they, they've got nothing to push under, under the, into the bottom drain. Why am I bending over like this? I stand back up again. I honestly thought I had a problem on my hands when I saw air glugging through the bottom drain. I'm thinking, oh my God, it's drawing water in, but there's no, the pond isn't down. What the hell's going on? Anyway, everybody seems nice and happy now in there, laughing the reds off at me. Can you believe it? Right. <laughs> These, this video was not a planned video. I had something completely different planned that's gone on the shelf now because I've got up this morning, or well, yesterday, quick recap on yesterday, obviously you saw the air stone that had miraculously, is that the one before? Landed underneath the bottom drain cover. So I got that out yesterday, no problem at all. Came down to check this morning and found this. Yes, uh, covers off again. How blooming annoying is that? And the thing is, this happened a few months ago and I managed to flip it back on again. I found a way of, of getting these covers back on because some people chuck stick their budgie smugglers on and jump in the pond. Well, my pond is now 10 degrees. There's no way in the world unless I really, really had to, am I getting my budgie smugglers on to get into that water, which is extremely cold at the moment. So I'm crossing my fingers that I can do the same again and adopt the same way that I put the cover on last time without having to get in. So we're gonna have a go at that any minute now. But, um, so yeah, it was just a case of getting two poles and two sticks and juggling it around and flipping it over and then pushing it on. You'll see in a minute how we have a go and hopefully, fingers crossed, it works. If it doesn't, then um, you may see me getting wet. I really hope not, because it is, I had my arm, arm in there earlier. Uh, just taking those shots of, of uh, I mean, actually, look, if you look again, I, I'm able to look up the bottom drain pipe. But I think one thing, a good thing that's come out of this is, is that as you can see, there's no, there's no waste in there. So I've got a nice clean bottom drain, but yeah, as you're looking up there, I don't know, it's a bit dark maybe. So anyway, so yeah, we're gonna have a go at flipping that over now. Cause where did it last time? I had to get two poles and kind of just do the stick thing and. Hey, come and look, everybody. He's, he's, he's talking into the top of that stick again. What's he doing? Do you think he's sus dude took that big black thing off and made a hole in the bottom of the pond? But it didn't look like it, but I know he's been in and found it. Crack me up when you got that blowy thing and put it at that hole. Well, it wasn't just me, you know, it was all three of us. It was them pair over there and all those. Hey, let me see, let me see. Move out of where, let me have a look. Let me see, have a look, see what he's doing. If he has to get in here again with them budgie smugglers on, that's going to be dead funny. <laughs> So we're going to give that a go again now. I tell you what, it's really strange. You see the fish at the window and you always wonder what they're thinking. <laughs> Bless them. Everybody, quick, he's coming. Uh, <whistles> quick, I'll just get this food from up here. Right, I have the acquired tools. <laughs> I did it the last time. A net and a long metal pole. So I'm going to delve in there now and see if I can get this uh, top back on. Fingers crossed, eh?
<laughs> the first time wasn't a fluke. This definitely works. You know, it's just God. I, I, I tell you what, I can't. I can't tell you how chuffed I am that, that that's worked a second time. And I didn't have to get my budgie smugglers on to get in there. Oh my God, I'm so relieved. But anyway, so there you go. If your bottom drain cover does come off and it's not one of those that screws on, those screw ones on, I don't know how you do that. I ain't got one of them, but I just got to push fit. But yeah, there you go. No need to get in your pond. One of these and one of these will do it. So. Thank you. Right, there you go. Two little unplanned missions to get done there by these little monkeys. I don't know whether it was they knocked it off or it might have been because of the bubbles blowing underneath the previous day when the mysteriously, the little air disc managed to find its way underneath the cover. So maybe when I took that out, maybe I should have just checked the cover, see if it was pushed down better enough. I don't know anyway. Who knows what these fish are thinking? <laughs> Anyway, thanks so much for watching Corporal Lifestyle.